Hello and welcome to Craft with Sarah. In this Design Space tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can cut images out of text to create fun designs like this Father's Day dad shape that I've got on the screen at the moment. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is write out our text. So go to text in the left menu and then that will give you a little box where you can type out your word. By default it loads in this Cricut Sans font which is quite a good one to choose as it's fairly thick but this technique of cutting out images from your words works best with an even thicker font. So the thicker the font the more space we're going to have to cut out with our images. A font that I like to choose for this is called Montserrat because it goes really really bold and best of all this is a free font so check out the description below this video for a link of where you can download it for free. To change the font, select the text that comes up in the little box and then go into the font drop down in the top and then you can choose through all the different fonts here or to look at just the fonts on your computer, click system. You can also search for fonts, so I'm going to start typing in Montserrat and the one I want is Montserrat Black, so the darkest one that there is with the boldest letters. So you can see immediately how much more space I'm going to have inside my letters with this font. I'll make it a bit bigger so you can see. Now when you do text in Design Space it adds weird spaces between the letters a lot of the time so we need to fix that. Right click on your text layer in the layers panel and then press ungroup. This means you can now click and drag each letter separately to tidy up that space between them. When you're happy with how your letters are looking, you just need to make sure that they're all still lined up nicely along the bottom. The easiest way to do that is to select them all and then go into Align at the top and press Align Bottom. And that's just shifted them ever so slightly to make sure that they're all nicely lined up like they would be when you type a normal word. When you've done that, go down to the bottom of the layers panel and click weld and that's going to put all those layers together again so now they're all as one. We're going to be cutting out images from the middle of these letters so we want to hide the cutouts that are already there so that we can put images there instead. Click on your letters and then click the contour tool in the bottom right of your screen and then click into the middle of each of those letters to hide them. You can get rid of the contour box by pressing the X in the top right and now you can see that we've got rid of all those middles of the letters so it's now ready to start bringing in our images. Head on over to images and then you can search for images to go in there. Now we're looking for images that are silhouettes, so only one colour for this and um, kind of fairly simple because we're going to be cutting them out of the, um, the letters so we don't want anything too complicated. I'm going to choose this bottle one even though it's got text on it because I can show you how to hide the text so that we've just got the bottle. And then I'll choose that one as well. So here we go, my three pictures are here. I'm going to start with these two beer glasses together. Now if I was just to drag that on there, I'm not going to be able to see it. So I want to change the colour by clicking into the colour box near the top and just choose something nice and bright so it's going to be obvious where it's going to cut. So how this is going to work is all these yellow bits will get cut out of the D and the black bits there will remain. Okay, so for the um, for this one here, I'm going to put that on the other D. So again, I'm going to make it a bright colour, make it a little bit smaller, and position it where I want it to go. And the same thing will happen with this one. So all the yellow bits will be cut out, and then if you're doing this in vinyl, all the little black bits will still be there. So you'll still get all that nice detail in the middle of the beer glass. Finally, I've got this one and I only want the bottle bit, not the text. So um, I'm going to head over to contour again and I will just zoom out using little arrows and I want to hide everything apart from the beer bottle. So I can click hide all contours 
And you'll see that's not quite worked out how I want it because it's hidden everything apart from this last word. So what I need to do now is just click the beer bottle and then that will show it. And then click that word that's still being shown to get rid of it. I do have a separate video on how to use the contour button which goes into a lot more detail on how to achieve all these different effects. I'll leave the link to the um, video in the description of this one if you want to go and check that out. But now I've hidden all those words, I've just got the beer bottle left so I can change the colour and then move it to the middle of my A and then resize and position where I want it to go. When I'm doing these types of cutouts, I like to put all the images in place before I start cutting them out. And that's just in case I decide that I want to change the layout or the pictures or anything before I start slicing. Now I'm ready to slice out the um, yellow bits from the letters. And there are two ways to do this. You can either do each image individually or we can flatten them all together and do them all at once. So first I'll show you how to do it individually. So I'm going to select the um, layer of my dad word and then with the control key pressed down on my keyboard just select one of the other layers. So in this time I'm going to choose the beer mug. I'm going to go down to the bottom and press slice. And you'll see at the top I've now got some things called slice result and if I hide the first two you can see this is my word layer and now it's got what was in yellow cut out of it so it's showing the white of the canvas behind it. I don't need those two layers anymore so I could right click on them and delete them because I don't need them. To get the other pictures back just click and drag your word layer back to the bottom. It can be a bit fiddly to get it but there we go. So now I could repeat that process for the other two um, to get them all cut out as well. But to make things go a little bit faster, I'm just going to undo that slice and show you how you can cut out all your images at once. So to do that, you want to select all of your image layers in your layers panel and then go down to the bottom and press weld. Now that's joined them all together, so now they're just one layer, which means we can have this layer selected, select the word as well, and then press slice and this time if I just hide those top two you can see it's cut them all out at the same time so it's just a much quicker way of doing it and there we have our finished word all ready to cut. So I'm just going to resize this to 11 inches wide and make it a bit of a brighter colour. So you can see how that's going to look um, and if I just click make it to show you how it looks on the mat so you can see how this is going to cut out all those bits that we did have in yellow are going to be cut out of the vinyl and you'll just be left with your nice pretty pictures in whatever colour you choose to cut it out of. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to slice out images from text. There are so many different things you could use this for not only for Father's Day like this one but Mother's Day, Christmas, birthdays, Easter anything and you could even do it just maybe with someone's name and cut out pictures of things they like. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up using the button below and subscribe to my YouTube channel for lots more design space tutorials. Thank you for watching. Bye!